What's up, everybody? You know what time it is. It's 12 o'clock and it's Friday. It's time for the most watched show on Facebook right now. Fun day Friday with two of my good friends that need no introduction. The gurus of grilling, the sultans of smoke, Ow. the fathers of fire, your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan, and Chef Greg. Do, 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 do. Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Greg. Who is the goofy guy dancing around over there? I don't know. I almost called oh, security. It hurts really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little blood blister under the nail. <laughs> so bad right now. Uh, but hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. We are live right here at the Rec Tech Grills Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. Shoot, yeah. It's a great day. It's Fun Day Friday. We do this every Friday. Make sure you smash or if you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and ring that bell. I think the live studio audience needs to get rowdy up there. Come on, people, tell me where you're at. The live studio audience is kind of a, a cool thing nowadays. Folks walking in over the skywalk, they can lean over the bridge, they can watch us, they can tune in. Well, it's cool because they're uh, in the Can you hear me, John? You good? You yeah, got a little good. weird face? You're I'm good. Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad, <laughs> your rec tech expert. With me, as always, Chef Greg, your director of culinary innovation. And the uh, maestro of mayhem, the conductor of this crazy train over there, Chef the, John, the on flicker, the ones and twos. The flicker of the switches. That's it. He's Flicking like a swiper. Switches. He's like a swiper, you know? Yeah. Swiper. <laughs> swiper, all swiper. Uh, but thank you guys so much <laughs> for tuning in. Make sure you ring that bell and smash that share button. We've got a great show for you today. Uh, full tutorial on the ultimate buffalo chicken sandwich. Well, everybody has their breakfast. own... Uh, 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 everybody yeah. has their own variety of a spicy chicken sandwich. I can honestly say I have never had the Popeyes. Oh, son. son. I, I've had a couple of the Chick-fil-A spices, never the Popeyes. Son, I'm telling you. So I gotta say, though, I really feel that a spicy chicken sandwich off of Rectech is gonna take Oh, without out. a doubt, without oh, a doubt. Definitely. You know, uh, absorbing some of that smoke, you know, getting that real hardwood flavor built all up in it. It's going to add to the layer of flavoring that sandwich. Now, we're not frying these bad boys up. You know, we're grilling them, smoking them on the RT700 today, available at RectechGrills.com. Shoot, yeah. 1199 ships right to your door. Six year warranty, stainless steel, ceramic ignition system, PID controller. I can go on for days. About. You're like the days. Forrest Gump of Rectech Grill information. The Bubba of Rectech Grill information. But, uh, no, but the Forrest Gump. He's about the shrimp. Yeah, but Bubba does the shrimp, right? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah but you're way better looking than Bubba. Uh, but thank you guys so much. The ultimate chicken sandwich, we're using chicken breasts today, Chef Greg. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Probably on the things that I dislike, boneless, skinless chicken breasts is probably like number six on the list. So you're not you're not a fan of the boneless chicken? I'm not. I'd rather, I'd rather cook the... Uh, the breast with the rib cage attached, those uh, split okay. breasts, a lot more fat to work with. I'm okay. a fan of the skin. And then I find, you know, boneless, skinless breasts, they're pretty inconsistent. Okay. And if you don't cook them right. they a weird shape, right? There's a couple of things that you can do to them. And if you don't cook them right, they're going to be dry. And gotta, uh, we don't want that. Even. Sure. Made, uh, more Give me another mic, uh, I guess not. Um, but, uh, but right now, Chef Greg, get on in here. Sure. Chef Greg is actually butterfly. We are, and these are just boneless, skinless breasts. And all take you got to do, it, Greg. this little uh, lolly do on the side, this is where that wing would attach, and there's like some cartilage in there. That is to the carcass. I just get rid of that. And all you got to do is take your knife about halfway, whoosh, straight back. Okay? Just like that. Butterfly it open. And now there are two evenly fantastically amazing pieces of chicken and we got more because there's a lot of hungry people around here we're gonna make a good bit of sandwiches but this doesn't take uh, so just a second a good bit. <laughs> of people we got like a hundred people that work here man there's a lot of people so you can also pound these out you know put a uh, layer of clear wrap over them 
-hmm. hit them with a mallet. My mom used to take uh, her old coffee cup and uh, kind of pound it out. Just make it much more even. That way it cooks a lot quicker. Shoot you. And then of course one end of the breast is not dried out while the other one is raw. Um, but I never have a problem cooking chicken breasts. You know, heck, when you're working in a restaurant, that's really what really all they really buy absolutely you know, for those grilled chicken sandwiches yep uh, the grilled chicken salads and you could brine these too I mean you maybe do that that famous pickle brine oh, you wow. could you could do um, I, you know honestly never thought about really brining them anything you, you do is gonna help anything you do is gonna help right now uh, you could possibly even inject these bad boys if you wanted to shoot you um, but again it's it's really easy to dry them out so just be careful be mindful do exactly what chef Greg is doing butterfly them open you know, or either pound them out. You know, when we were at, uh, when I worked at Chick-fil-A, shout out Truett Kathy, um, there is a actual trick to where, you know, they open up the, uh, that little membrane right there and kind of fold it open a little bit and it makes it a little bit more even before they uh, batter it up and throw it in that henny penny. Joe, do you work at Chick-fil-A? I did work at Chick-fil-A, That's Jordan. an interesting I fact. I didn't know that. I did not know that either. At the one in the Augusta Mall. What? Yeah, for uh, two years. That's junior, awesome. Senior year of high school. Saw the Yin Yang twins come through the mall. Oh, yeah. I served them up a Chick fil A sandwich. <laughs> so free. That's right, Chick fil A. I gave one of that sandwich for free. Hopefully, they don't uh, find me. Um, but uh, I looked up to Truett Cathy as a young man. Really? Um, I actually read a couple of his books. He actually taught me that oh. you only have one chance to make a Ooh. first impression. That's the truth. Let me read your need to hear. So uh, I actually, you know. From that, yeah. you know, every interview I've ever been on, you know, I was make sure I was dressed to the nines. I make sure I was trimmed up. There you go. You know, make sure that you know you, you, you get your mind right. That's you right. Know, you get a little education. You get you know some talking points going on before you meet, go to the job interview. Look you got to do research right. on the companies yeah. that Look you're applying Kathy, for. Though, like right. instilling knowledge in young boys to help them go forward and become Absolutely. successful men. I, I mean, I actually read a book. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna about. lie to you. I went through all middle school without reading any, finishing any of them books. <laughs> I started them. Got what halfway through. Got pretty bored. Um, but yeah, it was one of the first uh, business books I've ever read. All right, well, lots of knowledge. Let's go ahead and Back jack the food. Let's go ahead and jack these chicken breasts up. I got some cold no, freaking grease. You're not gonna jack them up, Greg. Yeah, we gotta. Bring, no, that's a bad word. We you're gotta. Not, we gotta bring. Glorify. We gotta bring the. <laughs> you're gonna flavorize. We gotta bring the flavor to the top, and we're you're bringing gonna, in some heat. We're using that Ron's screaming pig rub. So you use Colden's freaking Greek first, and then the Ron's screaming pig second. Shoot, yeah. Kind of a blend of both, even parts both. Then we're gonna grab a little bit of that Frank's Red Hot. And you could use any kind of buffalo or hot sauce that you like. You know, the other day with that, uh, those oysters, we had that Cristal hot sauce. Shoot, yeah. Or Crystal. And we're just gonna go ahead and. Now, doesn't that look delicious, ladies and gentlemen? Go ahead and smash that share button. Give us a like, give us a love, because the entire world is gonna wanna know what these look like after they come off of that Rectech grill, mm -hmm. the RT700. It's sitting, you know, we've got, uh, instead of, you know, the grill stopping at 500, you know, one step up above 500 is full, and that, that'll get you above 500 degrees. We're on full, and we're at 522 what? degrees Fahrenheit on the inside of that grill. We've got the grill great sear kit in there, and Greg is ready. I'm ready to go. Get on in here. Check it out, guys. You're going to hear that sizzle. You're going to see that caramelization. You know, those chicken breasts, they're going to cook super, super even because the way Chef Greg actually prepared them. And then that, uh, that seasoning and that buffalo sauce is just going to get cooked and baked on to, on the outside of that delicious chicken breast. It's going to get good and caramelized and crispy and delicious. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Guys, John, have we got any good comments or questions? Again, guys, we're we live do. right now. We if do. If you have any questions, you have any comments, put them down below or over there to the left uh, or the right, excuse me, uh, <laughs> in the comment section and we'll get to them. John, we got a good one though. Yes, Bob Howard asked, top fan Bob Howard asked, do you usually let these marinate? You can. I mean, you got to be careful. There is a good bit of acid careful. in the uh, uh, Very buffalo good point, sauce. Chef. So, you know, a little bit, dab do you. But again, we put so much flavor on the outside. It doesn't take a lot of time. And they're thin, they're only half inch thick. So. Right, so it's going to, you know, uh, give us a uh, time, Chef Greg, that you think that these will finish in. Uh, so, about 10 minutes. What we're going to do is now the ones in the sear kit will cook faster than okay. on the regular grates. Right. So, if you guys want to go ahead and smash that share button. And just wait about 10 minutes, we got chicken ready to go. That's right, so we're actually cooking them two ways. One on the, on the right-hand side of the sear kit, and then on the left-hand side of that RT700 using the stainless steel grate. Guys, 
You can use the 340. You can use the 590, the bullseye, the 2500. It doesn't matter. You can even cook these in the matador if Ooh. you wanted to. Shoot, uh, yeah. It would be absolutely delicious. So besides, you know, the ultimate buffalo chicken sandwich, which buffalo chicken sandwiches, you know, they, they say originated uh, at the New York Anchor Bar. Really? Um, really? That's what that's what they say. Okay. Our, I that's uh, where the buffalo wings our were camp coming from. That's right. Well, the, well, where the buffalo wings came from also came from the buffalo sandwiches. Um, but they were likely created in Buffalo, New York at the Anchor Bar in 1964, supposedly. Okay? I've never a seen a buffalo with a wing, though. There's a not, lot of different claims <laughs> to it, of course. Um, but buffalo, the flavoring, the taste, um, just the, the way you cook the food has become very, very popular all over the United States as well as the world. You know, it's just become a, a popular way to kind of spice up uh, any ordinary dish. You know, we did the buffalo wings last week. I like it. absolutely it's amazing. So good. Anytime I make my buffalo sauce, I do like to cut it, though. I don't like, you know, to do, to do the straight buffalo sauce because I'm a wuss. Right. I also like to cut it with some good savory butter, yeah. put a little bit of sugar in there Ooh. and a little bit of um, some lime or lemon or something right there to kind of get all the good flavors going. Is that how you did once. it for the Daytona wing? I was just uh, about to ask him. I was like, aren't you a creator of some wings, John? I'm a creator of uh, many different things. <laughs> Children, love, <laughs> chicken wing flavors, sandwiches, waffles, <laughs> cupcakes. I've invented many different things. Oh, I've got man. a couple of different patents. I don't want to toot my own horn, yeah. John. No, you, so you let's toot just, it. Toot let's it, just keep, uh, keep the, the show rolling. That is fantastic. Um, but you've got traditional buffalo sandwiches, which essentially is just a chicken sandwich dipped in buffalo sauce and thrown on some bread. Today, we're going to do the ultimate, our take on the ultimate buffalo chicken sandwich. It's going to give you the perfect bite of buffalo chicken deliciousness. Right, right. So, we're, you know, we've got delicious bread. Uh, the key to any good sandwich. The very first step is to decide which kind of bread your sandwich is going to contain. And you want to be careful you don't get a bread that's too crispy crunchy because what, what you don't want to do when your sandwich is like on the softer side of textures, right. you don't want that sandwich super crusty where you like you bite the bread and everything like squishes out the side. Right. You want to make sure that when you get a good bite, good chew in there, a good the bread can stand to up bread to bread to veggie to condiment ratio. You know, you can't have too much mayonnaise. You can't have too much buffalo sauce. It's got to be good balance. Blue cheese. It's got to be a good balance. You can't it's just true. Balance is everything, it. right? Absolutely. In life, yes. balance. I mean, that's balance is what it's all about. Um, do or do not. There is no try. But let me make some of this delicious buffalo sauce that we're going to put on the sandwich today. And Greg, essentially, equal parts ranch and buffalo, right? That's it. I mean, easy, again, easy. you can Lemon, live that. You can do that however you want to live your rectech lifestyle. If you want a little spicier, maybe go a little heavier on the uh, the buffalo sauce. If, uh, Shout out Frank's Red Hot. You're man. a little right. bit more of a, a wuss. Stuff. You can put a little more white girl sauce in there, that ranch dressing. We love Frank's Red Hot. We love you. Shout out Frank's. Frank's a nice guy. Did you know in, in uh, 2018, Team Shit at the Memphis and May World Championship Barbecue Cooking Competition won first place at the Frank's Red Hot Chicken Wing what? Cooking Competition? That's right. Cooked on a version one bullseye. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Pre PID. 2018 World Champion Chicken Wing Cooking Maniacs. So, equal parts buffalo and ranch is what we're going to kind of toss this bad boy in. So, that's even like a really good, uh, like just spread for a regular sandwich. You could salad dressing if you want. You know, I was what just about need? to say the very same thing, Greg. You know, I want to spice it up a little bit, Greg. I'm going to get a little bit of. A little bit more heat to it, so I'm gonna put that Ron screaming pig in here. It's also I, got. I thought you said you were a wuss. I am a wuss, but you know what? Uh, some of that flavoring in there has just got got my got my feelers going right now. I dig it. The smell of it when you put it in uh, those chicken just got me going. I dig it. I so dig we it. have to rectify this, of course, a little bit. But that's easy piece of lemon squeezy. Heck, I'd even dip my shrimp in that. I ain't gonna lie to you, boys. You could be good a good dip in shrimp right. sauce. Right, John. You got a good question out there. Yes, yeah, so we got a question. How long does the sear kit take to get hot? So we preheated it up with our grill. So we set right. that that grill to full. Put the sear kit in from the go, and uh, again, it came with the temp. And when the grill is at that max temp, your sear kit will be hot along with it. Um, what you don't want to do is just turn your grill on. Get the grill get hot, and then put the sear kit in it, and then put the food right away because that sear kit didn't heat up. Get hot, yeah. right? You just got to be patient. Just like cast iron, you know, uh, anything. Uh, you know, we've been using the Dutch ovens lately. 
uh, any of those cooking uh, utensils, make sure you let them heat up with the grill. It's just going to give you better results. Quicker, faster, hotter. You're going to get more of that caramelization when you throw your meat Huge, in there. Yeah. You know, and it's going to be ready already. Now, are you a blue cheese or a ranch guy when you ranch get wings? Ranch all day. Blue cheese is trash. Folks, <laughs> put your hate in the comments section down below. But right. blue cheese, I'm gonna no no no, Greg. We're gonna have blue to compromise. Trash. We're gonna have to compromise. If you like blue cheese with your your buffalo wings or your sandwich, I'm telling you, you've got a weird taste bud going on in your mouth, and there's something wrong. You know what they say? So put all the ranch hate down below because <laughs> I know it's coming. Hey, pick up pick up a ranch. Boy, pick up I love your that ranch. White girl sauce. Pick up your ranch. My blue cheese is bigger. <laughs> oh, I thought. Wait. Oh yeah. Yeah, you need more because it's crap. It's not That's the size. Why. It's not the size of the container. Tell it's me. It's what's in the container that kale. But what about you, John? Do you like ranch or blue cheese? Uh, it just depends on what I'm eating, uh, guys. Uh, like, uh, no, I no, love ranch. Don't tiptoe around. He's, he's waffling. Don't tiptoe he's waffling. But sometimes he's I waffling. like a little blue cheese Jeez. on my... Uh, All right, well, I've got that celery, so, and I love putting blue cheese on the celery. Mold. You like eating mold. I do. Ugh. Mold. I'm going to grab some of that blue cheese, and that's going on the celery. My wife because this is going to be... Like the salad slaw, if you will, for these sandwiches. Okay, so this is something totally different uh, that I've never seen before. Chef Greg essentially, you know, just uh, julienned them uh, celeries. Yeah, we just kind of whacked them up. Whacked them up. Just like that. Tossing them in some sauce. We're going to season, put a little bit of salt in there. And it's going to be delicious. Yeah, it, it'll looks give you delicious. some good crunch. That's it. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. That's give it. you some good crunch. And I don't like blue cheese, but I'll eat it. John, you got a good question? I've got a great question, Jody. Uh, we almost lost it. Chris Dal Dewey asks, after you sear something on the sear kit and then flip, how long does it take for that spot to get hot again? It, it actually recovers very quick. Again, that anodized right. aluminum is, uh, is going to recharge a lot faster and more efficiently than, say, stainless steel. Right. Um, and the quicker you flip it, too, the quicker that grill is going to recover in temperature and, of course, Make, yeah, help you don't, that, uh, heat up a little bit. You don't quicker. need a dilly dally, um, and again, you don't have to get a new spot. It just makes it better. Now, this we loaded this bad boy up, so we got chicken everywhere. Am I worried about it? Uh, no, I'm not, because no, the beauty of it is I'm still not obstructing any of that airflow in the grill. Correct. So that hot air and smoke is still going to cook the chicken from mm -hmm. the top down and the bottom up. I'm just going to get some good color, some good caramelization some good crispness. And again, you could use the raised grate side of that searing kit, or you can use the flat side. Get on in there, Sherp. Show them, what's, uh, show them what Greg is working with over here. We got some great grill marks, caramelization. Those chicken breasts are getting finished up. You're looking for an internal temperature of 165, folks. 165 with poultry Shoot, is yeah. gonna be your safest bet. Um, Jody, but you started are, something with the internet uh, right now, just so you know. Good, they, good. I wanted to. I'm sick and tired something. of this debate. I'm you over it. Something. All of my ranch lovers, I know they're in there, <laughs> and they're just killing it right now. Um, but, Greg, another good point to make is you cut these in very consistent uh, sizes. So Shoot, yeah. they're all going to finish about the same time. You know it. And like but, the, ones on the, the ones on the grates here might be another minute or two, but they're getting really close. But the cool thing is, you know, if you're, not, if you're coming to Greg's house and he's cooking it like this, you know, you can have just one piece and it'll fill you up. But hey, if you're hungry, you can have two pieces and those two pieces aren't overwhelming. Two chicken breasts would probably be a little bit too much for somebody, yeah. but two of these, you know, you could easily knock them out. For sure. Um, and it's more handheld size. But for me, it's a texture. When you get a chicken breast that's like that thick, right. it's not cooking evenly. Right. You're gonna overcook the outside to get the inside at 165. Um, butterfly them, pound them out. They're gonna cook a lot more even, a lot more consistent. Or you just buy those split breasts like like I like, and that way you can eat the skin, <laughs> and then uh, you're good to that's go. That's after hours talk. Split, <laughs> breasts. Those split breasts. That's what they're called at the grocery store, man. I didn't make up the term. That's right. Okay. Um, but Greg, I did have a question for you. Did you hear about the farmer that died mysteriously? The farmer that died mysteriously. mysteriously yeah. I did not. Yeah, the police said that uh, that they suspect. Foul play. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and that's your chicken joke. It's chicken cooking chicken. It's dad. It's a dad joke. Okay, all right. That was your dad joke of the week brought to you by Shinerbach Beer. Go out there and get yourself a delicious Shinerbach. Listen, there's nothing finer than a Shiner, okay? Uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. Hell, ring that bell if you're watching us on YouTube. Today, we're making the ultimate buffalo chicken sandwich. Now, anybody would enjoy this chicken sandwich, but 
you're watching it live. So when you make it later on, you're going to enjoy it even more because you're going to knock it out of the park. Yeah, they Shoot, are. Shoot, yeah. But if you want to find out about exclusive information, about when new products are coming out, about when we get new swag, when we're going to hats, events, hats. and things like that, make sure you sign up for the newsletter at rectechgrills.com. Just go to that homepage, scroll all the way down to the bottom, insert your email, shove that email into yeah. that box, there you go. okay? Insert it in there That's where it right. says sign up for the newsletter. Make sure you fill out all the information, make sure you click all them boxes. That way we can email you uh, all of that information. And if you want this recipe, as well as all of the other amazing recipes for lunch break, after hours, backyard and beyond, mix it up munchies, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, fun day Fridays. Go to rectechgirls.com forward slash lunch break and fill out all that information. Late night munchies, sorry John. <laughs> fill out all of that information. Check all those boxes and we will make sure that we insert each and every one of those recipes right into your inbox. Uh, John, you got another good comment or yep. question out we, there? We have, uh, actually we have about 500 people oh, watching. We got some new people who just joined Look in it. right now. Watch Greg build. What? I mean, Greg's building like Bob the Builder. Yeah, sandwich. he is. Can you go over the sauce again? All right, and the, the sauce. The you use. The sauce was equal parts uh, ranch and uh, your favorite buffalo, buffalo wing sauce. sauce. That's right. You could have, use blue cheese if you're a blue cheese household. Okay. Now that chicken, we butterflied those breasts. We kind of scallopini cut them in half. You could also use. Scallopini cut them. You could also use chicken tenderloin would be a good substitution for this. Mm. You know, uh, uh, we had a lunch lady uh, back in elementary school. Her called name chicken was Bev, substitution. Uh, Salatini. Bev Salatini. Yep. <laughs> nice lady. Nice lady, right? <laughs> <laughs> Greg hates it. I love it. <laughs> and we're just gonna put Whoa! a little more sauce on the top. Why, what are you doing there? Got to sauce the bread. Stop it. You're starting it at the top, and it's just drifting its way down. Well, I mean, it it the knows. Yeah, we like it. it knows I what's like coming. It. Start we got some. Is it worth it? Drip. Drip. Let me work it. Drip. Drip. But we got some delicious tomatoes from the garden. Oh, shout out that Rectech Garden yeah, that staff. Good. Those guys that show up on the weekends, even when they're not working, to order that garden. Thank you, John and we Jody. Really, yeah. <laughs> Acosta, <laughs> we really do appreciate you guys. <clears throat> but man, John, we've got, you know, we had uh, uh, some uh, new additions to the family today, mm -hmm. yeah. yesterday. Yeah. We had, uh, we ordered some more bees. Yeah, we so did, we got, boys. you know, some more bees going. We got some honey production going. I got it. Some Look at this stuff. live studio audience. We got like 40 people hey! on the breezeway watching. Hey! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep it over here. Keep it over here. We, I know we got like. There. We don't want the kids to be shown on TV. They got to sign. They got to sign <laughs> press release first. And stuff. So, um, <laughs> but uh, man, this we are well on our way to creating the ultimate buffalo chicken sandwich. Now, Greg, if we were to like go into your mind, okay, and then take some psychedelic mushrooms. And then try to create or put something on the grill that would just elevate this to a level that is beyond stellar. All right. Come on, Sherp. Come on in here. Oh, so you've already thought about this. <laughs> I mean, as what? John would say, was there a black president? <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, right. All right. So we've got Whoa. some oh, that? smoked wow. beef bacon. We've taken the, uh, the point meat. You can't make bacon with beef. Shoot, yeah, you can. We've oh, taken some gosh. point meat from uh, the briskets we yeah, had at Academy. Up, show it, show it off. Show that color. Oh my God, it's beautiful mahogany. And check this out. What we can even do is go over here. Whoa. Now this is cooked. Whoa, are you gonna make? Oh God! Oh. Look at the color on that. Smoked beef oh. bacon. <laughs> Daylight come <laughs> and me wanna stay at Rectic. <laughs> Jeez, like yeah. No, it's like this? bacon. It's bacon. So this is cow bacon. Yes. Cow bacon. Cured Not to be confused with and bacon. smoked. Cow bacon. What you think, Jody? Pretty tasty. Yeah. Now it's not going to be it's, that sort it's of got sweet a dirty taste, mm -hmm. but like such a velvety, so good texture. Greg cut me a little piece the other day while it was still marinating, and it looked curing and tasted curing. delicious. That has got a good oh. texture to it. You did Shoot a great yeah. job on that, Greg. So this is actually going to top our chicken sandwiches well it could because I would slice it and then I'd put it back on the grill but I you know what you are the Sultan of smoke Jesus Christ, yes. you are the beast of bacon yeah oh you've already got some yeah come on now what good what good friend would I be if I didn't <laughs> if I didn't oh, have pork bacon. this is just regular pork bacon we cooked off on the rectech earlier while you I guys are throwing that down real quick though we got a, a top fan who wants to give a shout out to his daughter 
his beautiful daughter, Isabel Losher. Your Whoa, dad said, Robert says, Isabel. happy birthday. We hope you have a great happy birthday. birthday. There Isabel. we go. Wow, we were well on our way to make the ultimate chicken sandwich. We cooked this bacon about 350 degrees on the Rectech cooking mat. Mm -hmm. Available now. We've got those accessories in stock now. We talked about it yesterday on Product Spotlight. 350, about 20 uh, minutes to 30 minutes, just depending on how you, your, uh, oh. you like your bacon. Me, I like it crunchy. I like a little bite to it. A little crunchy, a little bite. That's right. Okay? That's right. Greg, he, he likes a different way. John likes a different way, too, so that's, that's right. a different time. We're right at 165. Shoot, yeah. Shoot, yeah. That's that magic number when it comes to foul, Jody. <laughs> you ain't mine, John. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and pull these ones off. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Now, could we throw some cheese on there, Greg, if we wanted to, if we wanted some dairy up in this? We sure could. Shoot, yeah. But you know what? I think we're just going to go kind of uh, yeah. a little uh, a little cash today. More more protein, more veggies, more sauce for me today. That's how I'm feeling. Okay. That's how you're feeling? That's how I'm you're feeling. You're living that's, your rectangle lifestyle right? That's lifestyle right now. I don't want to get, you know... I have a fear that I might be lactose intolerant, so I don't want to ruin my day by eating a bunch of cheese, John. Okay. I like where your head's at. I like wow. where your head's at. Man, this if if this isn't a picture that, that could go on Instagram and go viral, I don't know what is. This chicken cooked to perfection. It's not dried out. You can see the juices just rolling right off of it. The seasoning is caramelized beautifully. That sauce is cooked on the chicken breast. Those chicken breasts, breasts are... are uh, Cut perfectly to Man, uh, that even looks cooking. So good. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. oh God. He's just gonna get in there and smash. I need it. to see some hearts, crackers, some wow guys. faces. And you can some even thumbs go ahead up. And, Show us some just love, everybody. Fight just a little bit more by adding a little bit more seasoning if you wanted to. Season high and watch it fly. But we're not done here. I mean, you don't think that's good enough? Shoot, no, Greg. <laughs> I had I mean, a feeling you were gonna say we that. We got some stuff. We got more stuff, right? Well, you're not supposed to know that. The anticipation of the show is you were supposed to be disappointed. Extra stuff. I mean, it's underwhelming right now. <laughs> Even though you did put 20 pieces of bacon on these sandwiches, oh, it's still my underwhelming. My goodness. But who doesn't like a pimento cheese and bacon sandwich? Oh, wow. I love pimento cheese on anything. Crackers. Pimento cheese. Other cheese. A lot cheese. of folks out there, you know, uh, up north and out west probably don't know too much about the pimento cheese, but... Man, pimento cheese is just a southern staple. Is it a regional thing, Jody? They don't, don't have that up there? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, super Those southern. Those guys. Super the southern. The war is southern. over. That's right. Adopt some stuff from the, the war south. war is over. You know? <laughs> yes. Like, come yes, on. Yes, John. Yes, it is. Get some sweet tea. Get some, Get some pimento <laughs> cheese. Get some sweet tea. <laughs> like, come on. And, uh, okay, so, John, let's go back. Let's take it back. In the comment section. Yes, sir. On my ranch. Warriors out there. They are out there. They are. They are out They're there. They're loving the ranch. But you got hating on the blue cheese. Yeah, but you got some blue cheese fiends yeah, out here too, get out Jody. Of here, blue cheesers. Some blue cheese fiends. Y'all probably, you know, y'all probably like the uh, government American cheese too. I'm are sure. You, are you knocking government cheese? Do you don't remember those government cheese sandwiches? I know you're from Harlem. I know you remember slicing you say that. Say Myrtle? No, Harlem. I'm from Myrtle. Harlem. 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 <laughs> I was about to say, Harlem. John, don't disrespect me like that. Uh, Myrtle Manor, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but man, this is like sending this sandwich over the top. Still, Greg, it's well, we just a little. The, <gasps> we haven't put the celery on there yet. Oh, oh yeah. Gotta get that know, celery yes. salad. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm a texture eater, and there is some major textures up in this sandwich right now. You gotta now. get the crispy crunchy. Goodness. You got the crispy crunchy from the bacon. You got the crispy crunchy from the bread. You got the crispy crunchy from the celery. Mm -hmm. Crispy crunchy. Uh, from the chicken, Preach, Jody. you know, you've got some creaminess Preach. from the pimento cheese. You've got some velvetiness mm -hmm. and crispiness from the chicken and then the lettuce and tomatoes. Oh I mean, I can go on for hours. Hey, Jody, what kind of lettuce is that real quick? They asked that earlier. That's just some bib, bib lettuce. Bib lettuce. Bib lettuce. Right. Yeah. Hydroponically grown. But you know what? I got here kind of early today. What? what? Did, you? did you? I did. You okay. cooked more beef bacon? I Well, that, that too. But... We cleaned out the fridge, and okay. I found a lot of cheese laying around, oh. and you can't put good cheese to go to waste. But there's another vegetable we got to put on here. Okay. I'm just going to go over to this smoke box here. So you've been warming up stuff in the smoke box this whole episode, Greg, and you ain't told nobody? Nope. Cheese and crackers, Greg. we got to work on our communication skills, son. Well, you know what? 
It it's was like, your birthday the other day, so it could be like a little surprise. There you go. Oh my God, Greg's got macaroni and cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, Greg. Shoot, yeah, Greg. Guys, smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. Greg Muller is gonna create, hands down, the ultimate chicken. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. He's about to break the internet. He is about to break it. This is so beautiful. <laughs> We kind of went off the edge here. Makes my heart so happy and kind of upset because it knows it's going to have to deal with the cholesterol, but that's okay. <laughs> that's how I live my Did you take your Tums before this episode? <laughs> yeah, I did take the old Omeprazole. Uh, Craig Linhart says you're going to have to unhinge your jaw like a snake to get around that one. <laughs> yeah, well, someone else is going to have to unhinge their jaw later this weekend. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. That was after hours joke. I should have kept it on after hours. Uh, but guys, we're doing the ultimate buffalo chicken sandwich today. Greg just knocked it out of the park. We cooked everything on the RT700 available at rectechgrills.com right now. Guys, the cooking mats are in stock. The interior shelves are in stock. We've got buy a grill, get a competition cart half off right now at rectechgrills.com. You don't want to miss out on that special because you're saving some serious cash Oh gosh, Ooh. John, you want in on this game? I Did cut thirds. President? Yeah, well, I this want, is not a, a game. I already took that Everybody joke. Everybody else from is playing for seconds, Jody. Ain't no, because this game set match. That's what I'm talking about. This game set. All right, hold on, I'm coming. Oh man, I gotta get. I gotta get up. I'm gonna get a tray too. I gotta get a towel. Right? I need a tray. That's right. That's right. We we'll get one too. Oh yeah. Let's smash gonna, that share button, guys. Greg just together? created the ultimate chicken sandwich. We cooked them on full on the sear kit. We got macaroni RT and cheese in here. Wow. We got pimento Jody, cheese in here. Judge on, yours uh. on the top. Oh, uh, uh, that, that's there good. That's go. good. Yeah. I'm excited. Cheers. This Cheers. Is <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh. Mm. 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 Oh, man. Wow. That is so good. It's like a cheese orgy in the bun. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Man. Mm. Mm. The macaroni and cheese was 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 clutch. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 Show that thing again. Man. Oh man. I can't believe you just did that to all of these people, Greg. I got cheese on my mic. Everybody is going wild out there. Man. That was delicious. Wow. Greg, you outdone yourself. Jody, you've outdone yourself. So, Again. guys, we're going to have to get a little new lolly. I what else would do to, to make this, you know, their ultimate. I got cheese on my lolly. <laughs> I don't even know if people can hear me. <laughs> um, but, guys, what would you do to your buffalo chicken sandwiches that would send them over the top? I'd love to know. We put it in the comment section down below. You know, we got some uh, winners to announce. Uh, we did, we spun the wheel last week. Shoot, yeah. It landed on the Rectech cookbook, so that's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to get them yep. a uh, volume one uh, Rectech cookbook. It's the best part of 40, sandwich, all stuff falls out. 40 recipes that you can absolutely knock out of the park. Mm -hmm. uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then we also gave away a Fun Day Friday shirt. That's right. We've got uh, show shirts that you can only win, and we will tell you how to, you can win and another one of those uh, next week, too. Man, Greg, you just did it, man. Greg, you got probably the, one of the best compliments I think you've gotten so far. Alex Spurlock says, Greg is the best thing that's happened to 2020. Boom! <laughs> Hashtag Chef John's the greatest. <laughs> Hashtag Chef John's the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> that was an inside joke. He did that the other day. He, just, he was bribing people with shirts and hashtag Chef John's the greatest. It worked. No. It worked. No. It worked. I'm sick and tired of everybody saying 2020 is a wash. I, it's actually been a very good year. Guys, we got six more months mm -hmm. to make this the best year ever. Think about that. I mean, this is the five best more, eh, buffalo five, chicken five sandwich ever. Six months, okay? To make this the best year ever. There's still time left. Shoot, yeah. This year is not a wash. How awesome would it be if we were just to make this the best year you ever? ever and overcome everything that's what that I'm is going about. on right now. I think now. we make it year it. of the Come Rec on. Tech. This is the year of the I Rec Tech. It. This is the year for you. This is the year for us. We're going to knock it out of the park. we got five months left, says Jordan. 
I love it. January, Chef. February, March, April, May, June, July. We still got a little bit left in July, August, September, October, November. I mean, he December. can't come back from vacation trying to correct us. That's He's true. been gone all week. That's true. The ship Hanging has been moving Doc forward. We have, <laughs> broken, <laughs> we have broken some records. Yeah. He did stay at Myrtle Manor this past weekend, so he, he's right. still in the trailer park. That's right. I think he was hearing out with Carol Baskin down there. Hey, that yeah. hey, Carol don't talk Baskin. Smack about the trailer park now, boys. I was raised <laughs> in the trailer park. Don't be talking smack about it, man. Tell me, uh, Chef Greg, how, did you, questions or comments yes, how did you make that macaroni and cheese? I want a quick breakdown of that macaroni All right, so cheese. I took a milk. Well, they, uh, that recipe is available at Rec Tech Girls. We got a couple of them. We made a bechamel, which means uh, we made a cream sauce. We've taken some roux, some milk, and we've literally added every cheese under the sun, That's some amazing. elbow mac. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just grandma's yeah. macaroni and cheese. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, man. But my grandma that ever made macaroni and cheese. Yep, yep, yep. But, John, what did, uh, what, what did you do last night for uh, late night? Oh, I'm so glad that you asked. We did smoked strawberry cupcakes last ooh, night. It came ooh. out delicious. It was so much fun. It was a good awesome, time. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Chef John does that. 11 p.m. Eastern Standard uh, every Thursday, and live gonna, right here. We'll on, be switching to Instagram, not this uh, Thursday, but the next Thursday. We'll be, be going switching to Instagram, to Instagram soon. Right. We've been going live on YouTube. We've been going live on Instagram. So make sure you follow us on all social medias and set your notification. That way you know when we go live. That's amazing. Dude, you just knocked it out of the park. I can't wait. <laughs> It's so, um, that's but John, are they, say, are they putting anything in the comment section how they yes. would jack up uh, their buffalo chicken sandwich? Not necessarily, but you did get uh, Eric, top fan Eric Hendrick says, uh, hashtag Becky Rocks. Oh, get out of here. I'm Eric. just saying, uh, they're still out there doing it. Yep, yep, yep. Y'all she's going to have she's gonna have her own show. Y'all say a prayer for me this weekend. I've got the boys all by myself. She's on a, a girl's weekend trip. But that's cool, though, because you can do all sorts of fun stuff. Go swimming. Make hamburger helper. Oh, yeah, hamburger helper, oh, for man, sure. My wife hates hamburger helper, and that's what I'm going to do Saturday and Sunday. For she's breakfast, lunch, Monday. and dinner. You got to know, right? All right, but we've got some winners to announce. We've uh, drugged this show out way too long. Yeah, uh, make sure you smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. If you're watching us on YouTube, ring that bell. Boom. All right, so last week's cookbook winner did everything we asked of them. And if you want us to sign that cookbook, just go ahead just and let us know. know. Just let us know. Um, but it looks like this person has a picture of a beaver skull. Oh, interesting. On a stump. Okay. And that's all. Could be an outdoorsman. That's right. Hunter. Mm, could be a male or a female. I'm not 100% sure, but Arby Browner. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations, Arby. Congratulations. Arby Browner, congratulations. Arby. You were the winner of a cookbook. Make sure you DM us or direct message us on the Rec Tech Girls Facebook page, and we'll make sure that we get that going to you. I get down with the beef and cheddar. Right, right, right. We also give away a T-shirt. Now, the winner of the T-shirt is obviously a dog lover. For okay. sure. Love dog uh, lover. Loves a husky. And looks yeah. like he has a new puppy. Okay. Uh, he also loves the Omaha Bakery and hails from South Omaha, Nebraska. Mr. Bob Ryder. Congratulations, hey, Bob. Congratulations, Bob. And Bob. your husky. Bob, 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 Bob. Hit us up, Bob. Shoot us a DM, a direct message to Rec Tech Grills Facebook page, and we will make sure that we confirm that it is you, and we will get your prize headed on out there to you. Guys, if you missed After Hours, we gave away 20 T-shirts. Good Lord. That's right. We gave away 20 T-shirts. Sure, that was one, crazy. Uh, and one of those T-shirts. It's still in there. <laughs> Got it. There we go. Oh, there it is. One of those t-shirts is going to have a $100 bill in it. Guys. It might or might not smell like oysters. If you didn't get to participate, you didn't. You you missed it. That's why you got to set your <laughs> notifications. That's why you got to follow us on all social media. That's right. Because. That's right. Because we do all of this stuff. We do Backyard and Beyond every Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard on uh, Facebook, but we're moving to Instagram. We do lunch break Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard. One on Facebook, one on YouTube. We do after hours on Facebook, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Late night munchies, Thursdays at 11 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget, we do the Twitter behind the scenes all the time. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, TikTok. Man, right. we've got but it But you've all. also got a couple of the things you forgot about. On Tuesday, you've got products or uh, ask me ask anything. anything on monday you've got mail, mail day, day monday, monday. Yep. and then on thursday products you've got spotlight. product spotlight greg, it's a got, busy week she's a busy week we'd be live all the time y'all all the time um but greg you got anything i just ready to get down the rest of this sandwich well it's john's turn to spin the wheel of rec tech so john, we of john, course got to give something john, away john, so john 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 john, john spin john, it spin john, it spin john. it so what are the two rules john okay when you spin the First, the wheel of Rectech. First rule is you have to spin it in the clockwise direction. To the right. To the right, clockwise. Okay. Second rule, you have to spin it with the utmost confidence. 
In yourself. In yourself. AKA. And, and in the wheel. You know? Oh, so, okay. so, what I like to do is I like to set it on what we want to win. What do we want to give away today, Joe? Let's do a five. Let's, we, we've been doing 700 heavy. Okay. So let's, let's start on the 590 just to You know what? Let's, a do let's do a Rectech Flask? I would say you got to do John's group. Wait group. a second. What is that? I don't have a Rectech Flask. Oh, you want to do a Where flask? did that come from? Yeah, you we got Rectech rec flask? flask. Cool. Rectech Flask. Okay, here we go, everybody. <laughs> I didn't even know we One, got that. two, <laughs> three. There it goes. Oh, round and round and round, and round and round it goes. All you got to do to win whatever this thing lands on is like this video, share this video, and comment in the comment section Here it goes. down below. Here it goes. Oh, oh, Here it goes. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. And that's, that's a new so prize. Shabby. That's a new prize as well. That's right. That is a your that choice T-shirt. Right. So we've got T-shirts for after hours. We got T-shirts for Funday Friday. We got T-shirts for Mix It Up Monday. Heck, we also have some cool have, like, extra dirty girl backyard and beyond. No here. Mix It Up Monday. Ah. <laughs> We might have a Dirty Girl shirt laying around here somewhere. Yeah, so Dirty Girl shirts. shirts. He right. got me started with the yeah, Mix It Up Munchies. Right. It's his fault. <laughs> you need to change the name. Can you just combine the show to Mix It Up Munchies? Yes. Munchies. It I'll would combine. save us having to remember uh, like another <laughs> show when there's already 14 live events going totally, on each week. Right. Totally. Uh, but guys, we've got so much content coming out for you. It's, it's absolutely mind bottling. Blowing. As, mind bottling, as my buddy Ron Burgundy would say. Um, but make sure you follow us on all social media. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Sign up for the newsletter. Make sure you sign up for all of these recipes so we can insert them into your inbox. Follow us. Make sure you stay tuned. We're going live on Twitter after this. Uh, anything else? John, you got anything close? Close? Anybody close? No, just hey, everybody take care and listen take to one another. Take care. Listen and to one another. And make yourself the ultimate buffalo chicken sandwich this weekend. And go ahead and tag us on all social media because I want to see what you're cooking. Yep. Remember, follow us on all social media. I'm BBQ. Uh, BBQ Dad Jody, Chef Greg Muller, and the Rec Tech Chef John. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we'll see you at, at the Rec Tech. Tech. Do, 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 do. All right, let me yell at these dudes. Mark do, do, Mayer, Bobby Massingale. What's up, Tyler Mitchell? John Starsevich, Todd Nemechek, Greg Lockhart, Robert Locker, Jeff Larson, Joseph Garza, Kenny Sabatini, Jeff Malcolm, Curtis Durham, Mitchell Ward.